right. I mean, and as we were talking about before the show, uh, you know, our, our friends here, you know, Mike here in the studio and a bunch of other people do the midweek war talking about what's going on. Basically, the secondary wrestling as far as uh, the guys not WWE at this point. And, and of course, there was some big news this past week with Ring of Honor. Mike, can you fill us in on what that is? Uh, yeah, basically, it looks like uh, in the beginning of uh, December, Ring of Honor is going to be changing networks from Destination America to... Um, what was it Comet? Comet, Comet. Now, yeah. now are they? St- they're still going to be syndicated on Seclair channels, right? Like, I'm still going to see them on my Pittsburgh TV. Yeah, or whatever? I think I think Comet's also like a subsidiary of Sinclair, which right, right. I don't know if I have it in New York. Um, I've heard rumors that I might, so I I'll have to check that check that when I get home. But I, I kind of really liked having it on Destination America. I was able to watch it properly. Mm-hmm. Um, because as, as you know, I don't really like using the internets to watch my wrestling like if i don't have to and, and comet is a sci-fi network and i from what i understand it, it's one of those if, if anybody has over the air antenna like the rtvs the retro tvs the if tv or if no this mm-hmm. wrong wrong single word apparently mm-hmm. um like they're those secondary channels like the uh, 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 uh channel 2.2 or something like that right um and apparently i need to rescan my channels because apparently this is the secondary channel to our mm-hmm. my pittsburgh channel locally um so i get a sci-fi channel i didn't know about for free right uh so which is which i thought was like a little weird at first but and, and look there's the uh cover of it sci-fi it's in our dna uh is, is there a thing oh they have stargate it's just like when smackdown oh, came on oh. sci-fi at first <laughs> <laughs> which really it, it does kind of seem like it doesn't it leviathan uh so i, I say another move again they're they're owned by sinclair so the, the the move absolutely makes sense um the destination america wrestling experiment doesn't seem like it's been working out for a lot of people uh so uh but but i was wondering you know joe you you as we we've kind of teased uh, have kind of set a, a, a few toes into uh, a, a lot of the major players here uh, most recently, uh, between Ring of Honor, TNA, and uh, Global Force Wrestling, according to your LinkedIn, um, <laughs> uh, I, I was wondering what what your take is on on everything. Kind of seeing it from uh, your side, uh, you know, actually kind of working with these guys. I, I think when a lot of us fans look at these, like we look at like kind of where they are and seeing all the channel moves, and we kind of think is morale has to be low or we hear the dirt sheets or whatever like what what's the feel that you're getting out of these uh, as much as you can tell us of course uh, i heard i've heard plenty of reports of, of low morale um i can speak on the fact that when i was uh at tna in september uh when they had their house show down at the ross river ice gardens it was a very positive atmosphere it was a, a very welcoming atmosphere, other than guys being a bit fatigued from being at the end of a three-day loop on the road. Um, everything was pretty upbeat. Everybody was happy to be there. Everybody was ready to go to work. Um, I got no signs of bad morale from TNA whatsoever. Uh, you know, could things be better there? Absolutely, but the talent. Um, are going to do their thing, and and there's a great camaraderie among that locker room, and a great uh, 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 sameness as far as their goals, as far as presenting the best show they can. Ring of Honor is, is just as much, if not more so, uh, because Ring of Honor is one of the few companies you can look at that is showing tangible growth. Uh, you know, television ratings and live event attendance and their visibility. Um, and the fact they've been able to, to, to lock down a number of guys under exclusive contracts. Uh, I, I really like that Ring of Honor is not trying to you know run before they can walk. They're not taking a huge leap that is going to be a, a sink or swim like if they were on FX or if they were on – you know, the CW network or anything like that, where they would need to, to, to put all their eggs in that basket. Um, I was a big fan of the destination America experiment because there was no way for ring of honor to lose. It was a very calculated risk. Uh, and, and some people have their opinions on, on, you know, could the show have been lit better? Could the show have been whatever? And those are valid in a lot of cases, but 
Ring of Honor got exposed to uh, uh, millions of more potential homes, uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of more potential viewers than they would have gotten just in syndication. And it, from what I understand, didn't cost them a dime. Hmm. So that is nothing positive, whether it was a six month relationship or a six year relationship. Uh, Comet is going to be tougher to find, but uh, with that, that Sinclair uh, similarity, Ring of Honor is going to be more of a priority there. There may be more chance for growth within that individual microcosm. And you're still going to have the syndication, and they're still going to look for, for, for more uh, uh, domestically and internationally, I'm sure. Uh, I watched the show in syndication on the local Fox affiliate and uh, what used to be my Pittsburgh TV, which is now The Point. Um, so, so to me, it doesn't change. Uh, hopefully the people that were able to sample on destination America will seek out ring of honor and keep following it. Uh, uh, maybe buy a pay-per-view, uh, uh, buy a DVD, whatever the case is. If not, then there's no harm done, but, uh, I like the slow and steady growth of ring of honor a lot, um, because they're able to make those calculated decisions and make sure that even if they have to take a half a step back, they're still going to be able to move forward with what they need to do. I think that's the other thing to think about with Ring of Honor, where people are like, "Oh, there's only 600 people at this show. Oh, they're only doing this. Oh, there's only, you know, they're 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 not making crazy buys on on pay per view. Oh, they're only on my Sinclair channel. Um, they're also not dumping a lot of money into it. Like if you go to a show, you notice. I can kind of. I, I don't mean to, you know, kind of blast them on this, but it feels only slightly above an indie show at a certain point, right? It's not the full-on crazy production of even what I've seen at a TNA show, right? And that's not necessarily a bad. No, thing. No, no, it isn't. I, I think they're 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 working on a certain level. Therefore, any advances they make, uh, and I think it's smart business as far as that goes. They didn't go and get Hulk Hogan and say we're going to take on Monday Night Raw, right? Um, right. And, and I think. And it, I, 